uh, we were shooting, we were doing Greg and Honky. They were alternating doing their commentary tracks. And uh, Honky wanted a, a, uh, a vodka that was impossible to find. Seagram's Extra Smooth Vodka. I think they'd stopped making it, but I was so determined to make the impression and get him what he wanted. Um, I searched the ends of the earth and finally found it. Greg wanted a Merlot. Uh, he was very fond of my my uh, corkscrew that I brought. I actually talked about it for an inordinate amount of time. Um, so after a couple of cocktails, the guys get rolling and things are rolling. So in between takes, you talked about what it's like off camera. In between takes, Honk is standing in the room and he's he's having a moment about the Hall of Fame. And that he's pissed off. Um, Vince could, he was mad at Vince about something. Either he didn't call him for the Hall of Fame or when he saw him, he didn't thank him or something. So he's on his way to take a piss when he's telling, when he's talking about this. He's kind of talking to the room. He's talking to Eric and I'm there and talking. So he's kind of talking to everybody. He's standing up in front of the hotel room talking. Like, yeah, but you can't put your fucking hand out and shake my hand. And as he's talking, he had undone his pants to go, off, to go, to head to the bathroom. They now begin to go down. As he's talking, and you don't want to laugh, like you want to take him, he's having a moment, so you want to take it very seriously, yeah. but he's also there without pants. So it's it's a series of moments like that, James, that you learn uh, to deal with, and it becomes commonplace. Cool, that's a great story. And, I mean, uh, imagine, imagine that happening at the bank. Imagine yeah. you're working, you're, you're signing a mortgage, and the man's stands he's talking about the product and that your you know your mortgage rate your apr is is going to be as low as ever the pants begin to fall now in any other place that would be nobody even bad an eyelash in that hotel room because it's wrestling yeah yeah the, the wrestling world like it, it's weird it, like you explained like there seems to be one specific set of rules just for the wrestling business where if you put them rules in any other workplace, it just, it wouldn't happen, but uh, it's cool. Uh, to... Hey, it's James here. Hope you enjoyed that interview clip. I'm guessing you did, because you are hearing my voice. So if you want to check out the full interview, click on the box on the left-hand side. If you want to subscribe to the channel, which will help me a lot, click on the box in the middle. And if you want to watch me other interview clips from interviews I've done previous, then click on the box on the right-hand side. So, thanks, and I'll catch you in the next one.